Okay, welcome back to the second part of the Ohm's Law Lab. Uh, we're testing the resistance of Plato. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up my current probe and my voltage sensor uh, so that I can go ahead and take some data. So now I'm going to connect the power supply in the power supply into the current sensor that's already done and I've hooked the current se the current sensors um, lead to my uh, right hand nail and let me just push these down a little bit so that they stay in one place and I'm going to take the black lead of the power supply and connect it up to the end of the play-doh stick and now let's go ahead and connect up the voltage uh, the voltage reader to um, my little Play-Doh resistor and now I have a resistor that um, I basically will have a circuit that is the same as the circuit that you saw in a previous video so here we go and now those are both set up I'm going to launch a program Logger Pro and get that ready to go so here it is and you can see now and I'll try and make it a little bit tinier so that it doesn't take up all, the whole space and let's see if I can do that there we go okay now taking this data um, I want to measure the length the length right now is 18.5 centimeters so I'm going to be lobbing off pieces of this resistor as I go so now let's go ahead and turn on the power supply and I'll zero everything out so that uh, we don't get anything weird happening and what we want to do is we want to set it up so that uh, it's running 20 milliamps through this um, piece of play-doh so here we go about 20 okay turn the voltage dial up until it reads about 20 milliamps so I'll give it a little bit of current and not that much but let's give it a little bit here and then I'll turn the voltage up and I want 20 milliamps and you can see that there's nothing happening just yet so let me give it a little bit more and so now It's got 2.2 volts going in it. And we want 20 milliamps that's so it's way too high right now and I'll just turn it down a little bit so we can get to where we need to be you can see the current in the um, in the window underneath the current so that's not doing so much there we go it's tuning down tuning down tuning down and I want 0.02 amps going through this so uh, let's get that a little bit better adjusted and there we go so now let's set up our data collection so in this experiment, I'm going to collect data verse of length and voltage and current. So I'm going to set up data collection for a not time-based, which is what this uh, program starts as default, but rather as events with entry. And I'm going to call the entry, um, the entry column, I'm going to call it length. And I'm going to make it L. And the unit should be centimeters. So there we go. Uh, click done. So now we're at 
the point where I want to actually start collecting data. Um, my current, my voltage is about 3.8. According to uh, my re my meter uh, on the power supply, it's 3.8. On on Logger Pro, it's about 3.95. I'm going to take the 3.95 as true. Click collect, and here we go. So I am going to um, keep the current value. So here it is, and the length is 18.5 centimeters okay so that's all set and so now here's what i want gonna do i'm gonna shut off the power supply and i'm not gonna mess with the voltage at all for the rest of this and so now it's off and it's safe to do uh to move things around so i'm gonna take my nail out and move it to the next line and the length here is 13.8 centimeters and I'm not going to lob this off I, the the procedure is actually to lob it off but I think I'm going to hold on that and so now let's turn on the power supply again and we're at 3.8 the current needs to stay at about let's see so here we are um i'll tap to keep the current is 0 0.027 so it's about 27 milliamps now and the voltage is, is constant so we'll leave that alone click keep and let's type in 13.6 centimeters click OK and so now there's my second voltage now it's actually plotting uh, a line it's connecting data points I really don't want it to do that so I'm going to go ahead and change the graph a little bit so that it doesn't connect the points and I'll have point symbols I'll do that on both graphs okay so here we go one more There it is, point symbols, and done. And so now here is our, my data points. And you can already see that there's something happening with the current. Um, it's actually heading towards the right. And so now I'll take my, I'll turn my power supply off. There we go. And let's do another data point. This will be roughly 9 centimeters, 8.9 centimeters. Let's call it that. And again, I am not lobbing this off as I probably should, but I feel a little bit more comfortable with the idea of doing this. So now turn on the power. And you can see the potential has pretty much stayed the same. It's 3.93, so there's a tiny bit but look at the current. The current is now 37 milliamps going through here. So I'll tap and keep that point. And it is at 9.1 centimeters. 9.1. So there's that. And I'm going to move it one more time. The voltage, notice the voltage is pretty much staying constant but the current is definitely changing in a very drastic way. Now, we can already see this is not going to be, quote, linear, end quote, um, and perhaps the, this requires us to cut the pieces off, but I'm going to continue on my course um, and see what happens. So I have my last data point coming up. I'm going to shut it off, and... Let me move this till it gets to here. So now I'm at the last data point, which is 4.6 centimeters. Uh, turn the current back on. Here we go. And look at where the current is. It's 5.8, 5.7, 5 5.8, call it that. Uh, the voltage is still about 3.9. And um, so I'll click this point. It is 4.6 centimeters. 
six centimeters, click OK. And we are done with data taking because I can't go any further. So here I have those even segments. Uh, I went through and I'm going to click stop. So here's my data as we know it. Notice again, the average voltage sticks around 3.9 all the way through. There's a tiny bit of reduction, not too much. The length, I am decreasing it as I go. And notice how the current is not linear. This is, means that, that Plato is definitely not an ohmic <clears throat> material. It is actually non-ohmic. Um, if it were ohmic, it would actually have a um, it would actually have a straight line. So now let's take a look at what this is doing. Uh, I'm going to insert another graph. So I'll insert the graph. Let's blow this up a little bit so we can see it. This graph here is going to be current versus potential. And I'll just make it go like this. And you can see that there is a randomized behavior in this um, current versus potential uh, graph. It is not ohmic material. Now the question is, can we determine the resistivity of Plato? Okay, and we'll do the analysis in the next segment.